Hello guys and welcome to this Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we are going to take a look at the Magma Dragon Floor 80 on the hard difficulty. So, um, the team that I run usually is this team. Now, uh, it has a Reviver and a Terminator Booster, it has a Lydia for the increased defense weaken, additional damage, and most importantly, increased speed. Uh, very good. And um, of course, you need the uh, Provoke Champion. And this is the best one that I have, Skullor Vargal. He was a fusion a while back, and um, yeah, he's pretty good. He has a Provoke if booked, um, turn turn cooldown, Provoke. So yeah, he needs to go two times per boss one turn. So that way he will permanently provoke the boss. And it's called out for additional damage, and this is why I'm wave player. You can use whatever you want, but she also can do some nice boss damage. So, yeah, this is the most reliable run that I will use on auto, um, but I can also use the one that I got my best, well, lowest turns taken, was this team, with Volgar, Qualtanad, um, yeah, pretty much the same, I just switch out Arbiter. Um, so yeah, basically, the global teams, the best teams, uh, they use War Chief, that has a when he places the Provoke, it lasts three turns instead of one that uh, Skullout has. So uh, he's by far the best Provoke champion in the game. He can permanently provoke the boss easily. So yeah. And the best people they use like double max hit or LA attack with a bunch of damage, stuff like that. Um, so yeah. Because if you first come to the boss, then he will tank everything. But the Skull or Regal, it happens that you will take a hit. So, uh, yeah. So my team will normally be this. If you're struggling, you can switch out... Um, maybe Cold Heart with a... Um... Oh, goddamn, what's her name? Ta -da! That's right, Civil the Drakes. You can switch out with her, she is very good. With healing and uh, increased speed and around in my life. But I find out that Lydia is actually better in that way, because increased speed on everyone is very good. Now I also use a booster, that way I can pair with Lydia, and she's pretty tanky, actually. And um, yeah, with some revives, just in case something goes bad. So let's just do a run. Auto, I guess. I think I fixed this problem. So yeah. No, you don't want Scholar Vargal to hit any of the enemies here. Because if you do that, his health, max health, will be reduced. But if you. Um... Uh, what am I thinking about? I'm glad his max health is reduced. And the max health reduction is carried over to the boss, so you don't want him to hit people at all, if he can. This was pretty lucky, it doesn't really matter if he's reduced a little bit, he's insanely tanky and he's the strong affinity against the boss as well. Look at that, he actually took two turns on the first wave, wow. Pretty nice. We can do some AI setup here, so that Lydia will not use her increased speed ability um, against the second wave. That way she guaranteed as against the boss right away. Uh, I use it as trial to have Increase speed as much as possible. Um, Scholar Vargal, you can do it for your provoker that they don't use provoke on the second wave so that they have it on the boss when we come there. So, yeah. This is pretty safe and fast. Um, I can get a faster thing, I guess, if um, these are probably built, but these are pretty built to do other stuff. Except Skullout, he's mainly built to do this. He needs a lot of accuracy. I think mine is over 300 accuracy. 350, 60, something like that. That should work all the way through. And a lot of health and regeneration stats. It's also nice. If you don't have a good regeneration, then a Silver of Drakes is very good. So you keep him alive. So using a reviver is good, just in case the boss actually 
resist the provoke. That way, you can just revive your damage setters and uh, keep going. So, yeah. If you don't have the uh, Skull of Regal, then yeah, Warchief is the best option. Other than that, there are a bunch of provoked champions. Um, Sandlashed is a possibility. She's weak affinity though, but her A1 has a double hitter with a 50% chance of provoking. That is possible. Uh, have uh, maybe double Sandlashed. Or, uh, you know, multiple provoked champion and just manual this if you're really struggling. But, uh, yeah. For me, this is one of the easier bosses. Um, at least after I built my Skull Lord. I needed to book him though, to get it to, to turn cooldown and a 100% chance. I think that's pretty stupid. That should just be base, really. And it should, it's not even AoE, it's not even two turn, so it's kind of weird, but... Yeah, this is my fastest run, apparently. Cool, cool, cool. Salvia, get against the waves. So you can switch out Salvia, you can switch as Cold Heart, you can use another booster and reviver an arbiter but arbiter is the best and she's kind of free Lydia is very good if you don't have a Lydia yet then um, a apothecary is good it's the English speed champion you don't take, get the degree defense but that's fine it'll just take a little bit longer it's fine he also has some nice heals but she doesn't so. yeah that's pretty cool but if you are Little strong in that it, I would still suggest using Lydia. Uh, then you can also use a uh, another Sand Max Health hit instead of um, Arbiter, but then it is not a 100% win because you know if he gets resisted, probably your damage deals will die, except well, ex especially if it happens two times. So. Anyways. This is a very nice boss to farm because you will get some very nice gear from that. One of my favorites actually from the Doom Tower, that is Fatal Gear. Now I have farmed a lot of this earlier, um, and it actually is very easy to get good gear I would say. I can just show you a little bit uh, in this equip, the best ones I have. I can just show you a little bit of the gear that I farmed, mostly just one rotation really. Take a look at this. Uh, where one? This one, quad crit rate. My god, with attacking for damage, absolutely perfect. This one is very good as well, like for a rotos maybe, actually. Triple attack, speed, crit rate, still very good. Nice weapons. Um, another decent one. Helmet, double crit rate, crit damage, defense, or health. This and shields are actually very easy to get as well. But you only can get speed, crit rate, crit damage, that's good for the attack damage dealers. So, don't have any crazy ones. Um, not yet, at least. Chest plate is a little bit harder to get, but yeah. You, but remember, you only need two pieces for this proc, the 50% crit rate, crit damage. And this is the same amount of substats as the crit damage sets. So in terms of that, you get as many stats as the crit damage. And as you know, crit damage is uh, basically the third best damage set in the game. Best one is obviously Savage. Second best is um, Cruel that we can farm from or get from Clan Boss. But this is very RNG if you ever get any good pieces. It depends how long you play the game, really. So, I don't have any crazy pieces, I think. This is very good for Rotos. Uh, not crit damage, unfortunately, but. So, yeah. Fatal is very easy to farm. So, um, if you need some good damage gear, then I would go for that. Actually, take a look at my Foley. He has two of those. Um, I thought I had more people, but whatever. Fatal gear, fatal gear, look at that. Bunch of fatal gear, maybe he has stuff. So, yeah, fatal gear is very good. Uh, yeah. From that, if you want, and it's not bad at all. Uh, it's one of well, the best damage set this rotation. Other than that, you can only get the frost set, uh, the um, resistance kind of. No, this is the weak hit, whatever. Bunch of garbage set, really. Except the untouchable set. I'm gonna farm that up a little bit. The untouchable. 
me show you. You can also farm this from the Doom Tower. Immunity for two turns and resistance. I'm gonna farm a little bit of this just so that I have it set for my Mithrala whenever I get her from the Hydra. It's a while, but I'll get it eventually. Let's see how much I have actually. Mithrala. Oh, 56. I'm getting there slowly, slowly. So, yeah, that's it. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, goodbye.